Hey, what's up? In this problem, we have to find the Laplace transform of the cosine of 4t times the sine of 3t solution. So this problem relies on knowing a trig identity. So recall that the cosine of a times the sine of b is equal to 1 half, parentheses, and then it's sine of a plus b minus and then sine of a minus b. Okay, so in this problem a is 4t, this is our a, and uh, b is 3t, so this is our b. So we have cosine of 4t times the sine of 3t, that's equal to 1 half, so we have sine, and then we add these, right, so 4t so 4t plus 3t is 7t minus, and then sine. Then we subtract them, right? So 4t minus 3t is simply t. So again, first you add them. So 4t plus 3t is 7t, checks. Then you subtract them. 4t minus 3t is t, checks. At this point, we can go ahead and distribute the 1 half. So 1 half sine 7t minus one-half sine t. Good stuff. Now we're ready to take the Laplace transform. So the Laplace of one-half sine 7t minus one-half sine t. This is equal to, so you can put the one-half in the front, you can break it up. The Laplace is linear. This is sine of 7t minus 1 half Laplace sine of t. And recall that the formula for the Laplace transform of sine kt is the following. So if you have sine of kt, well sine has the k up top and then it's s squared plus k squared. So in this first case, we have 1 half times, and then k is 7, so it's 7 over s squared plus 7 squared, so 7 squared is 49, minus 1 half, and then the second case, k is 1, so it's 1 over s squared plus 1 squared, so s squared plus 1. And that is the final answer. I hope this video was helpful.